Good morning, y'all. <laughs> Wake up. <laughs> I'm up with you. God bless y'all. I hope y'all have uh, been enjoying y'all week <clears throat> and taking y'all's time little by little. Wired up. Keep on doing that little by little. Uh, and I got up a little early myself, for real. I feel like Paul right now. Uh, when him and Silas was in prison, they started playing music. <laughs> Wired up. I feel just like that right now. I ain't going to front. I had a little party to myself about <laughs> an hour ago, <laughs> straight up, right up, by myself. I had a nice little party just now. I'm trying to tell you. I, I thank God for for that gospel music, like where it's some, some real good music. I needed that. Um, cause I'm trying to tell you. <laughs> I feel like going off right now, but I ain't. <laughs> Word up. I threw a party by myself. Y'all should have been here. <laughs> Maybe one day anybody who liked to be in the Word definitely can join me one day. Word up. All right, you got to do that sometime though. in the midnight hour. And the midnight hour, when the midnight hour could be 3 o'clock in the evening, 3 o'clock in the morning, whatever, 12 o'clock at night, 12 o'clock in the morning, whatever going on, praise the Lord and watch them doors break down. Word up, word up. I'm telling you, y'all, I can't be begin to, I can't begin to describe like what, what goes on here sometimes. Uh, but I'm telling you, I feel like David, too. <clears throat> uh, I, don't, I don't focus on Goliath. <laughs> David went up against Goliath. and I, I got a whole lot of Goliaths in my life. But David, he didn't focus on Goliath. He focused on God. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? And with God behind him, with God for him, <laughs> uh, he, he was able to use what he had. Just that little slingshot to take him down. Word up. I'm telling you, all glory, on, all glory, honor, and praise go to my Father in heaven. Lord Jesus and the sweet Holy Spirit got to give credit, honor, and glory to who it's due. Amen. What today is Sunday. Yes, it is. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Sunday, January 8, 508. <laughs> it's early, not late. 2023. I don't think nobody's up with me. <laughs> oh, bless the Lord. Though. Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. I told you I had a party by myself, man. <laughs> I'm turned up right now, I'll be honest with you. <laughs> Or the, the Lord is a, a way maker, a chain breaker, and he's he able to, to to comfort you in the valley. If you're by yourself, I'm by myself many times, many days. Don't nobody know what it's like to wake up, uh, I'm telling you, man. If you got somebody that's with you, uh, that's a blessing. If you're by yourself and ain't got nobody that's with you, take it from me. The Lord Jesus is right there for you. He'll never leave you, never forsake you. The road get tough sometimes. Sometimes you got to walk on your own. But even when you walk on alone, Lord Jesus right there with you. I'm telling you, trust and believe in that. And you will get through it. He'll get you through it. Watch. Tell me the Psalm 16. <clears throat> Psalm 16, Brother David said, keep me safe, my God. I love that. Keep me safe, my God. For, I take for in you, I take refuge. I say to the Lord, you are my Lord. Apart from you, I have no good thing. Amen. Yeah. Apart from God, I have nothing good. The money ain't good. <laughs> my family, <laughs> they there sometime. <laughs> they can they gone later. My friends, they there sometime. They gone later. The world <laughs> is here. <laughs> it's here, but it sure ain't here for me. <laughs> yeah. Apart from the Lord, I have no good thing. To be honest with you. I love I love I love what Brother David said. I say to the Lord, you are my Lord. Apart from you, I have no good thing. Amen. I say of the holy people who are in the who are in the land, they are the noble ones in whom is all my delight. Amen. <laughs> Word up. I love to be around God's people, truly. I say I say of the holy people who are in the land, they are the noble ones in whom is all my delight. <clears throat> those who run after other gods, <clears throat> those who run after other gods, uh will suffer more and more. I will not pour out li uh, libations of blood to such gods, Lord KG, or take up their names on my lips. Lord, you alone are my portion and my cup. You make my lot secure. Amen. I love it. The boundary lines have fallen for me in pleasant places. Surely I have a delightful inheritance. Amen. I will praise the Lord who counsels me. Even at night, my heart instructs me. I love that. I will praise the Lord who counsels me. Even at night, my heart instructs me. Amen. I keep my eyes always on the Lord. That's it right there. That's it right there. Hey, whatever situation you in, <laughs> I love that. 
turn your eyes to the Lord, because that's the key right there. I keep my eyes always on the Lord. With him at my right hand, I will not be shaken. Amen. Therefore, my tongue, my heart is glad and my tongue rejoices. My body also will rest secure Amen. because you will not abandon me to the realm of the dead, nor will you let your faithful ones see the game. You, you make known to me the path of life. You will fill me with joy in your presence, with eternal pleasures at your right hand. Amen. I love that. Brother David said, I keep my eyes always on the Lord. With him at my right hand, I will not be shaken. That's what you got to do. Hebrews chapter 12. <clears throat> Hebrews chapter 12. Verse 1. Uh, say, therefore, since we are surrounded by such a great cloud of witnesses, let us throw off everything that hinders and 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 the sin that so easily entangles. And let us run with perseverance the race marked out for us, fixing our eyes on Jesus. You see, that's it right there. Keep your eyes on the Lord, fixing our eyes on Jesus. You see, you got to keep your eyes on the Lord. <laughs> keep your eyes on his word. No, no matter however the Lord's speaking his word to you, keep your eyes on fixing our eyes on Jesus, the pioneer and perfecter of faith. For the joy set before him, he endured the cross. I love that. I love that. I love that so much. A lot of people don't want to go through nothing. A lot of people avoid the tough road. They want the easy path. They they, they won't. They won't. I'm telling you. Jesus seen the, the long stretch. <laughs> he seen the long stretch, baby. He ain't run from. It. In fact, when, when you, I'm telling you, man. <laughs> Listen. For the joy. And, and he had joy right before him. Before he went to the cross. I love that. For the joy set before him, he endured the cross. Amen. I love that. Scorning his shame and, and sat down at the right hand of the throne of God. Consider him who endured such opposition from sinners so that you will not grow weary and lose heart. Amen. All right. <clears throat> I like that. Keep your eyes on the Lord because that's what you got to do. All right. Y'all bear with me, please. Yeah, keep your eyes on the Lord. That's what you got to do. All right. I'm going to pick up where I left off, y'all. Uh, in this junk right here. I got a nice junk for y'all. I'm uh, After I do this junk, I probably kick, kick that junk with y'all. <clears throat> that junk. Uh, actually, it's out of that first junk that I wrote. Uh, oh, today's Sunday. And yeah. If y'all. Uh, yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. I, I got to say that. Yeah. I love to go to church. I don't think I'm gonna be able to make it today. Like where? Uh, so don't y'all forsake going to church. If y'all can get up and get out, try to get up and get out. If you can't, it's cool. The Lord know. But spend time with Him though. You see what I'm saying? Where? Don't forsake that. <clears throat> I understand uh, if it's people that make it hard at the church or whatever. Try not to pay them too much mind. Uh, focus on the Lord. <laughs> Uh, but I know that people can throw you off sometimes. Though. That's another story for another day. But uh, I'm picking up where I left off in this book. <clears throat> All right. We talking. I'm in. I'm still in the lack of knowledge of sins. Uh, yeah, chapter one. Bear with me. Yeah, the lack of knowledge of sins, chapter one, page thirteen, where I left off. At. If y'all just now tuning in, you want to tune in from the last time. I'm going to give y'all a chapter. From, I, I might read the whole junk with y'all. Uh, I'm going to read the other junk with y'all next, though, like when I get off of here. Not today, but on another time. <laughs> uh, it, but anyway, God bless y'all. We're talking about the, uh, the lack of knowledge of sins. Uh, um, Hosea chapter 4, verse 6 say, My people are destroyed from a lack of knowledge. You see what I'm saying? Uh, quite often, people don't know uh, they have a problem. Uh, they don't want to know. Some some people don't want to know they had a. Some people don't want to know that they have a problem, but uh, a truthful and honest person, uh, they like to know. Like where, uh, somebody like me, like if I can't see something, I, I, I like I would like to know something going on. If I can't see something, because I don't I don't got it all, bro. I, I'm not perfect. <laughs> where, <Right up. laughs> where I, I dang sure don't have it all. But you'll be surprised what you are doing wrong that you don't know wrong and that's that'd be that'd be the reason why a lot of stuff uh going going left but nevertheless <clears throat> we're talk, we talking about sin and our religion is sin and they don't tell you that about they, they a lot a lot of the teachers uh, supposedly they don't talk to you about sin they tell you what you want to hear make you feel good so you can go home get a pat on the back and 
whatever. You know what I mean? But they don't tell you what you need to hear. They just tell you something to pep you up for a moment. You know what I mean? Then you get out the door. They're not giving you what you need. You need to know the truth so you can walk in the light. So you won't, you know what I mean? Because and we, everybody's seeing me too. I fall short each and every single day. Even if I don't do something, I thought about doing it. You see what I'm saying? Even just to think about doing something, I'm telling you, uh, nobody's perfect. But nevertheless, uh, the key to sin, the answer to sin is repentance. And uh, you see what I'm saying? The, the 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 full answer to sin is Jesus Christ. That's why that's why God sent Jesus. You see what I'm saying? But nevertheless, uh, for the forget for the forgiveness of our sins. But listen, in Galatians chapter five, uh, verse nineteen through twenty-one, Brother Paul said. Uh, the acts of the flesh are obvious. <clears throat> this is obvious to all of us. The acts, when, when you, you can tell when somebody moves in a certain way. The acts of the flesh are obvious. Sexual immorality, impurity, debauchery, idolatry, witchcraft, hatred, discord, jealousy, fits of rage, selfish ambitions, decisions, fractions, envy, drunkenness, orgies, and the like. I warn you, as I did before, that those who live like this will not inherit the kingdom of God. Everything Paul named, <clears throat> just name is sin. Listen, murder, hatred, even being angry with someone is sin. Jealousy, envy, fits of rage, fits of rage selfish ambition, greed, idolatry, setting up images, not loving people, judging unfairly, being judgmental, beyond standards, gossip, coarse joke, and slander. Lusting for things that is not yours and shouldn't have, also known as covenant. All this is sin. Uh, you should have you shall have no other gods before me, <clears throat> what the Lord said. You shall not make idols. You shall not take the name of the Lord your God in vain. Remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. Honor your father and mother. You shall not murder. You shall not commit adultery. You shall not steal. You shall not bear false witness against your neighbor. You shall not covet. These... Uh, our com these are commands from God Almighty Himself, given to us to obey for our own good, and we break them. And we break His laws daily. <clears throat> Most of the time, we do not even know we are sinning against God Almighty. To break one of these laws is sin. We do this daily, unknowingly. <clears throat> you see, in my lips chat, knowingly. <laughs> yeah. Uh, nobody's perfect, bro. We, we somehow, somewhere, we messed up each and every single day. <clears throat> you see, uh, the Lord didn't make us when when God made Adam. As far as perfection can be attained as a man's standards, he had it. He wasn't perfect, but he was made without sin. But nevertheless, he he still had the capability to sin. You see what I'm saying? He had the capacity to sin. Like word. Now we we born into it. We we got some we got the full effects. Like where like we in some terrible times right now. You see what I'm saying? But nevertheless, uh, uh, the Lord just wants to be aware. Uh, wants to be aware we can repent and turn to Him. You see what I'm saying? And ask Him for mercy to have mercy on us. What 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 He has intended all along. If you want to go look at you know. A lot, all the people believe that everybody comes from Adam and Eve. Correct. Well, when Adam sinned against the Lord, what did he do? He told the truth to the Lord. All right, then that's what the Lord wants. Tell the truth. That's it. You see what I'm saying? <clears throat> but anyway, listen. You see, sin affects others. <clears throat> you see, sin affects others. My sin affects me as well. Uh, not only me, but also the people around me. You see, the ones I sin against and most important, <clears throat> the ones I sin against and most important, it can affect my relationship with the Lord, our God. You see, now understand this. I can never hurt God Almighty. No one can. But he does have feelings and most of his feelings are expressed through us. Did you hear that? <clears throat> uh, I can never hurt God Almighty. Uh, no one can. But he does have feelings and most of his feelings are expressed through us. You see, he he love he love us. He loves us. God Almighty really loves us. He really does care about us. Look to your left and to your right if you got someone there. Uh, look to your left and look to your right, and tell me what do, what do you see? People, mankind, brothers and sisters, mothers, fathers, cousins, 
aunts, uncles, nieces, nephews, uh, friends, black, white, Hispanic, Latino, uh, Korean, Chinese, Indian, Mexican, African, Greek, Egyptian, Russian. It does not matter who you are or what race you come from. In Genesis chapter 1, verse 26 through 27, Moses wrote, <clears throat> Moses wrote that the Lord our God said, that the Lord our God said, let us, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit make mankind in our image, in our likeness, you see? So God created mankind in his own image. In the image of God, he created them. Male and female, he created them. You see, you see God Almighty created us, all mankind in his image. Listen, the wind is real. I can breathe it in. I, I, I can breathe it in every day, but I cannot see it for it is invisible. Did you hear that? I'm going to say it again for you, just in case they want to open. Listen, the wind is real. I can breathe it in every day, but I cannot see it. Uh, for it is invisible. Oxygen is real. We breathe it in, but we cannot see it for it is invisible. I have never seen God Almighty in his truest form, his whole deity. I cannot even if I wanted to. I love this. <laughs> in First Timothy chapter 6, verses 15 through 16, Brother Paul said, uh, God, the blessed and only rule, the King of kings and Lord of lords, who alone is Im immortal and who lives in, in unapproachable light. <laughs> Word. Who alone is immortal and who lives in unapproachable light. God Almighty himself lives in unapproachable light. <laughs> you think the sun, can't nobody get close to the sun outside. Have, have you ever seen a scientist or one, somebody, one of them rocket and spaceship people fly to the sun? It'll never happen. <laughs> They'll never reach the sun. <laughs> They'll die before they get to the sun, <laughs> right? <laughs> They'll burn up. God created the sun. How much more powerful you think he is? <laughs> we can see the sun. We we get heat. We get heat and, and uh we get heat and a lot we get heat uh, we get a lot of source a lot of source of energy come from the sun that's outside. You see what I'm saying? It's powerful. <laughs> Word. <laughs> God created the sun. <laughs> He's way more powerful than that. <laughs> he dwells, he dwells in unapproachable light. We can we can we can walk in sunlight. <laughs> the sunlight is not unapproachable. <laughs> Word up. There's some people who can get burnt from the sun, but that's not unapproachable. <laughs> Where God dwells in unapproachable light. If he was to show up, things are gonna catch on fire. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? <laughs> Word. <laughs> I love this. Uh, God, the blessed and only rule, the King of Kings and Lord of Lords, who alone is immortal <clears throat> is immortal and who lives in unapproachable light, whom no one has seen or can see. To him be to him be honor, uh, to him be honor, might forever. Amen. Hallelujah. In Romans chapter one, verse twenty, brother Paul said, "Since the creation of the world, God's invisible, invisible, invisible. Since the creation of the world, God's invisible qualities, His eternal power and divine nature has have been clearly seen, being understood from what from what has been made, so so that people are without excuse." Word. In First John chapter four, verses twenty through twenty-one, Brother John said, <clears throat> "Whoever claims, whoever claims to love God yet hates a brother or sister is a liar." You see, for everyone, uh, for whoever does not love their brother or sister, whom they have seen, cannot love God, whom they have not seen, and He has given us this command. Anyone who loves God must also love their brother and sister. Amen. You see, we can never hurt God Almighty, but the closest thing we can get to hurting God Almighty is uh, is by hurting our own brothers and sisters. And we do this daily to, to each other. You see, we are all brothers and sisters and we should act like it and we should be acting like it. We are all made in the image of God and we are all special to him. Why are we not special to each other? You see, we are all made in the image of God and, uh, and we are all special to him. Why are we not? Why are we not special to each other? One day in Matthew chapter 22, verse 37 through 40, someone asked, someone asked Lord Jesus, uh, what is the greatest commandment to keep and do? Lord Jesus said, love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your mind. This is the first and greatest commandment. And the second is just like it. Love your neighbor as yourself. 
all the law and the prophets hang on hang on these two commandments. Amen. In Romans chapter 13, uh, verses 8 through 10, Brother Paul said, Let no debt remain outstanding, except the continuing debt to love one another. For whoever loves, for whoever loves others has fulfilled the law. I love that. The commandments. You shall not you shall not commit adultery. I, I, I love what Paul said. I love that so much. Paul said, let no debt remain outstanding. Some of y'all owe some people some change. <laughs> I'm on a list too. <laughs> hey, I done been there, man. A thousand free throws. Let no debt remain outstanding, except the continuing debt to love one another. Amen. For whoever loves others has fulfilled the law. The commandments, you shall not commit adultery, you shall not murder, you shall not steal, you shall not covet, and whatever and whatever other command there may be are summed up in this one command. Love your neighbor as yourself. I love it. Love does no harm to a neighbor. Therefore, love is the fulfillment of the law. Amen. Now then, if I'm not acting the way I know I should act and do the right thing, well, I love what Brother James said in James chapter 4, verse 17. Brother James said, If anyone then knows the good they ought to do and doesn't do it, it is sin for them. Mm -hmm. I'm going to say that again. If anyone then knows the good they ought to do and doesn't do it, it is sin for them. I love that. And it's, and it's the truth. I know uh, I know when I'm wrong and I know when I am wrong and I'm not acting right, acting as I should, being sinful when I know better. I know this. In first John chapter one, verses eight through 10, brother, Jan brother John said, if we claim to be without sin, we deceive ourselves. You see, I can care less about lying to you. <laughs> I got to deal with myself, babe. If we claim to be without sin, we deceive ourselves. A lot of people try to fool other people <laughs> and cover it up as if. They need man's approval. You think, I, Lord, forgive me, but I don't give a, <laughs> I don't give a rat's tail what somebody think about me. As far as on a man's, as far as on a man's level, you see, I don't need, I don't need nobody's approval. <laughs> y'all, I put my pants on like y'all do. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> what you talking about? A lot of people try to cover it up, <laughs> like they stuffed on stink or something. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? <laughs> Word, bro, y'all, I'm gonna tell. I tell y'all all the time, quick fast. I'm not perfect. I'm far from perfect. Don't ever let Satan tell you this dude got it all together. That's a lie from the pit of hell, bro. <laughs> I'm far from perfect. I need help. I, I, I probably need Jesus more than y'all do. What? What did he just now say? You need Jesus more than us? Yeah, you dang, you dang right. You know how much talking I do to people, bro. This, Satan don't like me, bro. His people don't like me. <laughs> I got family who don't like me. <laughs> I'm telling you. I need help. <laughs> Y'all think I'm joking. <laughs> right. I ain't never lied. I used to when I was younger, but even then I'm still talking. I, where? But listen, <laughs> I forgot where I was going to, man. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. I can care less about lying to y'all. People be trying to fool people. <laughs> and where they do it all the time. If y'all go to church today, y'all gonna see somebody in church doing <laughs> somebody trying to work. Might be you. No, I'm just playing. Forgive <laughs> me. I don't know who I'm talking to. <laughs> Have a sense of humor, man. Y'all gotta lighten up. But now nah, listen to that. Uh, yeah. Um I can care less about lying to y'all. <laughs> Well, I got to deal with myself, wake up and go to sleep myself. Brother John said, if we claim to be without sin, we deceive ourselves. You see? And the truth is not in us. Yeah. It, I, I like the next verse. <laughs> if we confess our sins, he is faithful Amen. and just and will forgive us our sins and purify us from all unrighteous, not half of it. All unrighteous, not, not a quarter of it. All unrighteous. Not 10% of it. all in rights. If we claim we have not sinned, we make him, God Almighty, out to be a liar. And his word is not in us. I'm reading out this book. If y'all tuning in, uh, uh, the best book to have is the Bible. This is what I do on my free time, my spare time. I write books. Uh, I got like four of them. This is the first one I got printed out. See how this do. Uh, if y'all want one, y'all can... I don't like selling. Y'all can make a donation. It's $20. And I'll send you one or whatever. 
But yeah, this book called The Knowledge from God, Volume One. I got se it's seven chapters. The uh, chapter one, the lack of knowledge of sin. Chapter two, taught by God. Chapter three, the Lord will teach us. Chapter four, how important is the Holy Spirit? Chapter five, daily reading for your mind, heart, and spirit. Chapter six, love. Chapter seven, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. It's a real nice book. It's, it's really nice. Ain't no, don't no book compared to the Bible. <laughs> That's the best book you can ever have. Word up. It's just what I do on my spare time. It costs me money to make this. But if, you, if anybody want one, inbox me. Uh, cost $20. Donate $20. I'll send it to you. Whatever. But anyway. Uh, in James chapter 5. <clears throat> in James chapter 5, verse 16, Brother James said, Confess your sins to each other. I lo you see? I love that. Brother James said, confess your sins to each other and pray for each other that you may be healed. The prayer of a righteous person is powerful and effective. Amen. John the Baptist gave us the recipe to turn from sin. Uh, once I know, listen, y'all listen. Once I know I'm wrong and that God Almighty and his word is right. Uh, listen, once I know I'm wrong and that God Almighty and his word is right, I can freely confess my sins to God. Almighty, through Jesus Christ, enabled by the Holy Spirit to freely accept the truth. I have sinned by doing wrong to you and others. I confess this openly to those I hurt. In Matthew chapter 3, verse 8, Brother John said, produce fruit in keeping with repentance. You see? Amen. In Titus chapter 2, in Titus chapter 2, verses 12 through 13 in the MSG uh, version, Brother Titus said, we are being, we're being shown how to turn our backs on a godless indulge in life and how to take on a God-filled, God-honoring life. I love that. I love that so much. It says, we are being shown how to turn. I, I got a misquote. I got a misquote on page 16. I got to remember that so I can come back and rewrite. Uh, but anyway, we, we're being shown how to turn our backs on a godless indulge in life and how to turn and how to take on a God-filled, God-honoring life. This new life is starting right now. Uh, and it's wetting our appetites for the glorious day when our great God and Savior, Jesus Christ, appears. Amen. I love that. You see, John the Baptist was a man sent by God, and he told us to repent. In Matthew chapter 3, verses 1 through 2, Brother Levi wrote, In those days, John the Baptist came, preaching in the wilderness of Judea, and saying, Repent. For the, uh, for the kingdom of heaven has come near. Amen. John the Baptist told us to produce fruit and keep them with repentance. You see. Uh, in Acts chapter 2, verses 38 through 39, Brother Peter said to a crowd of people, Repent and be baptized, every one of you. <clears throat> Repent and be, and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ, for the forgiveness of your sins. And you will receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. Amen. I love that. And you will receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. The promise is for you and your children and for all who are far, far off, for all whom the Lord our God will call. Amen. In Acts chapter 16, verses 31 through 34, Brother Paul told a jailer who asked, what must I do to be saved? Any one of y'all want to wonder what y'all must do to be saved? A jailer asked that question to Brother Paul. Brother Paul said, believe in the Lord Jesus and you will be saved. That's all you got to do. Believe in the Lord Jesus and you will be saved. Take God at his word. I want a big prayer. <laughs> I was in my room four years, four years ago, marks, marks, mark around this month. Like where? Uh, it's January. I've been saved for four years. I was in my room one day. I'm telling you, <laughs> I found out I was making an idol out of something I wasn't supposed to make an idol out of. And I didn't know who Lord Jesus was. I know my mom, my grandma, my great grandma. They know who Jesus is. I didn't know who Jesus was. Like where? If I ain't think Jesus wanted nothing to do with me. But I, I called on him that night, though. <laughs> like, wear it up. And I ain't, it wasn't no super big prayer, no super big call. Like, where? I felt like going to the hospital. Like, I'm telling you. And I said, well, I don't like feeling the way I'm feeling. I said, Lord, if you're out there, if you can help me. Because I, I had a smoking problem. I still smoke from time to time. But it ain't, <laughs> the Lord helped me a whole lot. But I, I had a real bad smoking problem. I ain't know, I, I ain't know, I bad was, I ain't know how bad of a smoking problem I had. I ain't never ran out before. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Like, word. Uh, you don't know till you know. But anyway, you think I'm joking. I was in my room. I said, uh, I don't even remember what I prayed. Man, I want no big prayer. I said, Lord, if you're out there somewhere, I, I don't like the way I'm feeling. I know I'm, I, I know I'm putting this over you. And I don't want to do that. 
I can't help. I'm like, word. But if you can help me, if you somewhere out there, I ask you to help. <laughs> like, word. I, and I meant that. And I was able to go to sleep. Like, what I'm telling you. I, I, I was not able to go to sleep before I prayed. You know what I'm telling you. Like, word. I'm telling you. I was drinking alcohol and I was smoking cigarettes. That stuff don't work for me, bro. <laughs> word. That, it, that stuff don't cut it. I ain't drinking. <laughs> word. That, it don't cut it. That, just, that stuff makes stuff worse if you ask me. Word. Yo, most of you be happy and you get sad. You know what I mean? Where if you like to drink, that's cool. I'm just saying, I needed something to blow on. Word. <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm just saying. <laughs> Word. Word. But I'm telling you, I ain't been the same since, though. Uh, but uh, listen. Believe in the Lord Jesus. Amen. Brother Paul said, uh, believe in the Lord Jesus and you will be saved, you and your household. Then they spoke the word of the Lord to him and to all the others in his house. At that hour of the night, the jailer took them and washed their wounds. Then immediately he and all his household were baptized. The jailer brought them into his house and set a meal before him. He was filled with joy because he had come to, because he had come. I like this. The jailer was filled with joy because he had come to believe in God. He and his whole household. Amen. You'll be filled with joy, too, when you see your family turn to the Lord. The precious blood of Jesus Christ. The precious blood of Jesus Christ. In Hebrews chapter 9, verse 22, the Bible says, In fact, the law requires that, that nearly everything be, be cleansed with blood, and without the shedding of blood, there is no forgiveness. Lord Jesus shed his precious blood for you and me, for the, for the sins of the whole world. Lord Jesus paid the price. No one could pay. Thank you, Jesus. Uh, thank, thank you, Jesus Christ, my Lord and Savior, God and friend. Uh, in Romans chapter 3, verses 23 through 26, Brother Paul said, For all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God, and all are justified freely by his grace through the, through the redemption that came by Christ Jesus. God presented Christ as a sacrifice of atonement through the shedding of his blood to be received by faith. He did this to demonstrate his, his righteousness because in his forbearance and his patience, God, in his, in his great patience, his great mercy, he had left the sins committed beforehand un, unpunished. He did it to demonstrate his righteousness at the present time so as to be just and the one who justifies those who have faith in Jesus. Amen. In Romans chapter 8, verses 3 through 4. Brother Paul said, for what the law was powerless to do, what, for what the law was powerless to do because it was weakened, weakened by the flesh, God did. <laughs> I love it. They, they got that song. Uh, dude got that song, whatever. Or I, I like it. God did by sending his own son and the likeness of uh, a sinful flesh to be a sin offering. And so he condemned sin in the flesh in order that the righteous requirement of the law might be fully met in us, might be fully met in us who do not live according to the flesh, but according to the spirit. Amen. And John chapter three, the Bible say, God so loved the world that he sent his one and only son, Jesus Christ, that whoever believes in him shall not perish, but have eternal life. Amen. I love this. In Isaiah 53 verses four through seven, brother Isaiah said, surely he took up our pain and bore our suffering. Yet we consider him punished by God, stricken by him and afflicted. But he was pierced for our transgressions. He was crushed for our iniquities. The punishment that brought us the punishment that brought us peace was upon him. And by his wounds we are healed. We all, like sheep, have gone astray. Each of us has turned to our own way, and the Lord has laid on him the iniquity of us all. He was oppressed and afflicted, yet he did not open his mouth. He was led like a lamb to the slaughter, and and as a sheep before its shear is silent, so he did not open his mouth. <laughs> Amen. I love this. In Matthew chapter 16, verse 21, Brother Levi said, From that time on, Jesus began to explain, <clears throat> Jesus began to explain to his disciples that he that he must go to Jerusalem and suffer many things at the hands of the elders, the chief priests, and the teachers of the law, and that he must be killed on the third day and be raised to life again. In Romans chapter 4, verse 25, Brother Paul said, He Jesus Christ was delivered over was delivered over to death for our sins, uh, and was raised to life for our justification. Amen. In Romans chapter five, verse six through eight, Brother Paul said, "You see, at just the right time, when we when we were still powerless, Christ died for the ungodly." 
very very rarely will any will anyone die for a righteous person. Though for a good person, someone might possibly dare to die. But God, but God demonstrates his own his own love for us in this. While we were still sinners, Christ died for us. Amen. <laughs> yeah, I love I'm, I'm about to go up. I love this. In Ephesians chapter 2, verses 1 through. I can do two more pages. In Ephesians chapter 2, verses 1 through 10, Brother Paul said, As for you, who me? Yeah. As for you, you were dead in your transgressions uh, and sins. Yes, I was. And which you used to live when you followed the ways of the world and the rule of the kingdom of the air, speaking of Satan. The spirit who is now at work and those who are disobedient. Mm. All of us also lived among them at one time, gratifying, gratifying the, desi- the cravings of our flesh and following its desires and thoughts. Like the rest, like the rest, we were by, we were by nature deserving of wrath. But because of his great love for us, I love that. But because of his great love for us, God, who is rich in mercy, amen. God, who is rich in mercy, made us alive with Christ, even when we were dead and transgressed. Huh? Well, I, was, I was sitting dead. I was dead in my sins. <laughs> I couldn't get out if I wanted to. <laughs> yeah. I'm about to go off, man. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, God, who is rich in mercy, made us alive with Christ, even when we were, when we were dead in transgressions. Amen. It is by grace you have been saved, and God. Uh, it is by grace you have been saved, and God raised us up with Christ and seated us with Him in the heavenly realms, and Christ in the heavenly realms, and Christ Jesus, in order that in the coming ages He might show the inc- incomparable riches of His grace, expressed in His kindness to us in Christ Jesus. For it is by grace you have been saved, Amen, through faith. And this is not from yourselves, amen. <laughs> it is the gift of God, not by works. I know a lot of y'all probably ain't getting no presents on Christmas or whatever, but forget, uh, I don't really celebrate that Christmas stuff. I, I love the reason for the season, <laughs> but I don't like the meaning of what they make behind, like to get gifts and to get money and presents and stuff like that or whatever. Y'all ain't getting no gifts, don't feel bad. <laughs> I hope I hope our Father gift y'all, gift y'all with the best gift ever. That can't no man give. <laughs> but he had it ready for you since the begin since the beginning of the world. <laughs> yeah. I hope he gives you the best gift ever. <laughs> uh, for you are you are saved, for it is by grace you have been saved <laughs> through faith. And this is not from yourself. It's not your faith. It's not your grace. It's God's faith. It's, it's, he the one who reached down and grabbed you. He the one who reached down and turned you around. Talking to myself, too. I was on the highway to hell, boy. Uh. <laughs> Quick face. <laughs> Y'all don't know. I can't talk like I want to talk on you. I ain't stupid. <laughs> <laughs> I was on the highway to hell though, face. I thank God you gave me wisdom to where. Alright. I got it. I'm gonna knock out one more page and oh man. Alright, alright, yeah. It ain't it's half page. Alright. I'm about to get off him. For it's by grace you've been saved through faith, and this is not from yourselves. It is the gift of God, not by works, so that no one can boast. (laughs) It ain't no one on earth that can say, look at me. I got to say, I saved myself. (laughs) We all going to be on our knees up in heaven praising Jesus. (laughs) Thanking him for what he, what he did for us huh, that we could not attain on our own. Huh, in fact, we failed many times. Huh, you know, Jesus, the greatest lawyer. That, what's that dude with Johnny Cobb? He got OJ off. Oh, he ain't got nothing on Jesus. Yeah, he ain't got nothing on him. <laughs> he ain't got nothing on Jesus. Whatever you done did, can do, will do. Huh, if Jesus is on your side when, when we get in the courtroom of God, <laughs> Jesus got to be on your side. You're going to need him. If, you, if he ain't on your side, and they. 
it ain't this it ain't it ain't too many positive things I can say to you because it ain't a positive message for you. But if he on your side, my God, listen. I don't care what you did, doing, or can do. And because when when oh, you, I'm about to go off, man. You can't read. Uh, he the best lawyer in the courtroom. <laughs> If he by your side, all, <laughs> I, I, I can't even. I'm, I'm a loser if I keep thinking about it, bro. I, I, I need to finish. I ain't gonna be able to finish if I keep thinking about it. For, uh, for we are God's handiwork created in Christ Jesus to do good works, which God prepared in advance for us to do. Amen. In Second Corinthians chapter five, this last page. In Second Corinthians chapter five, verse eighteen through twenty-one, brother Paul said, "At." <clears throat> My speech is butchered. <laughs> All this is from God. All this is from God, who reconciled us to himself. <laughs> Lord, uh, All this is from God, who reconciled us to himself through Christ <clears throat> and gave us the ministry of reconciliation. Uh, rec reconciliation, that God was reconciling the world to himself in Christ, not, count not counting people's sins against them, and he has committed to us this message. And he has committed to us the message of uh, reconciliation. We are therefore Christ's ambassadors, as though God were making his appeal through us. We implore you on Christ's behalf, be reconciled to God. God made him Jesus Christ, who had no sin to be sin for us, so that in him we might become the righteousness of God. Amen. In 1 John chapter 2, verses 1 through 2, Brother John said, My dear children, I write this to you so that you will not sin. But if anybody does sin, we have an advocate with the Father, Jesus Christ, <laughs> the righteous one. He is the, he is the atoning sacrifice for our sins, and not only for ours, and not only for ours, but also for the sins of the whole world. And yeah. let somebody else tell you that uh, in their religion. <laughs> who, who, who? Who, who else make, who else make a way for everybody? <laughs> yeah, I, I, you know, I, I I wrote this junk like three weeks ago. The loop the loopholes uh, that God make for the people. You know, everything God has ever told us to do, we have never been able to do it. But he but he make a loophole for us through the way. And what is that way? Jesus Christ said, you know, he told Thomas, you know the way. He said, you know what? We said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. <laughs> Word. <laughs> Uh, he, that's what he told him. Jesus is the way. Each and every single time. We saved by grace which comes through faith. <laughs> Even before Jesus was on the scene, <laughs> God will make a way for the people. Word up. And it's by faith. You, I'm, I'm telling you, man. God a good God. Lord Jesus is a great Lord. The Holy Spirit also. <laughs> Listen. Uh, I forgot what I was reading. Uh, hit. Uh, my dear children, I write this to you so that you will not sin. But if anybody does sin, we have an advocate with the Father, Jesus Christ, the righteous one. He is the atoning sacrifice for our sins. Uh, <clears throat> that's what I was. Uh, not only for ours, but also for the sins of the whole world. Amen. Mm. Buddha ain't here for everybody. Mm. Uh, whoever them other people is, mm. they, ain't, they, they don't make a way for everybody. Mm. Lord Jesus made a way for everybody. I don't care who you is. Even if you're going against him, he still go out his way to still come and get you. Yeah. You talking about a good guy? Let, 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 I'm telling you, you can't, man. Let me get off here, yeah. Uh, I say I say all this to say this. It matters not where you are, where you come from or your religion. The fact is, sin is this, and there is no way for us to fully deal with sin. Sin is a spiritual thing that we cannot uh, dominate ourselves on, on our own power. We, we, we cannot fix sin. The wages of sin is death. But thank God Almighty who sent his son, Jesus Christ, his one and only son, that whoever believes in him shall not perish but have eternal life. Amen. Turn to the Lord. Put your faith and trust in him. Yeah, I'm getting off here. I ain't mean to spend this long on here. This coming out, the, this book I wrote. Y'all want to jump. Y'all inbox me. But I don't really want to talk about making money on Sunday. I feel kind of bad. I just telling y'all what I'm reading out there, like where y'all, my videos and stuff, free guys, where free, download the video, take the video, share the junk on YouTube, download off YouTube or something, where all the word free, all my videos, download the stuff free, but God bless y'all, keep on asking the Lord for the Holy Spirit, he gonna give it to you.
He gonna give it to you. The Holy Spirit leading the Lord Jesus now. Lord Jesus gonna lead us to be home with our Father in heaven one day and get up out of this place. You dig? <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, man. Uh, y'all keep praying for me. I keep praying for y'all too. And uh, I see y'all again one day. Um, hopefully tomorrow. <laughs> God bless y'all.